I'm happy to see uh, so many people here in this fantastic and last room. Um, we're going to have a very exciting uh, topical seminar here, which is about uh, diabetic uh, neuropathy, um, painful diabetic neuropathy. And um, it's going to be a presentation where we have four speakers. So the speakers here that you will be those on the list. So it will be Professor uh, Leif Oestergaard uh, from Aarhus, Denmark. He is a leader of the Center for Integrative Neuroscience there. He's going to speak about pathophysiology or pathophysiological mechanisms of diabetic neuropathy. We have David Bennett, Professor of Neurology um, uh, in Oxford, and David is going to talk about differences and similarities uh, be between painful diabetic neuropathy and diabetic neuropathy uh, it, in itself. Then we have uh, Sylvia uh, La Cesa, who is a neurologist uh, or, uh, from La Sapienza Hospital and University in Rome. And she's also going to talk about uh, quantitative sensory testing uh, in patients with uh, diabetic neuropathy and painful diabetic neuropathy, how you distinguish between the two. And finally, I will talk a little bit about a rational approach in treating uh, these patients. So the session will run as follows. So we will have 15 minute presentations from each of the presenters here, followed by a five minute discussion where you can ask questions. You can use your app. There's an app, you can download it, ask questions, and you can put them on the screen. And we'll try to use these five minutes for questions. You can also use the microphones if you want to do that. And after the sessions, which will be after 80 minutes or so, we will have uh, a few minutes for final discussion. So I just uh, want to uh, highlight a few aspects here um, about um, diabetic neuropathy, just to set the scene. So diabetes is a very uh, common condition, um, as you can see on the slide here. Um, it's clearly increasing these years because of an increasing amount of patients suffering from type 2 diabetes. Um, and what you can see also is that many of these, uh, uh, there are complications related to this uh, disease. We know retinopathy, nephropathy, uh, cardiovascular complications are seen in diabetes. One thing which has really been neglected uh, is neuropathy. And these neuropathies uh, come in uh, many uh, variants here. And you can see uh, uh, some of the complications here related to uh, this uh, diabetes here. So the diabetic neuropathy, uh, the most common one, is the distal symmetric polyneuropathy, which is a length-dependent polyneuropathy. But it is also, but there are also other uh, types of neuropathies which are far uh, more rare. So that we have the plexopathies and the radiculopathies. Um, there are patients also suffering from mononeuropathies, patients uh, suffering from visceral or autonomic uh, neuropathies. But really, the major problem, both in type 1 diabetes and in type 2 diabetes, is the distal symmetric polyneuropathy. So what you also can see on, uh, on the, this uh, next uh, slide here uh, is, the, is something about the epidemiology of, uh, of pain um, in patients suffering from this distal symmetric polyneuropathy. Uh, some of the figures that you can see here and there are specific characteristics also highlighted uh, on, the, on the screen. There are specific symptoms and specific findings, as you can see as well. So one of the things which we really don't know at the present time is why is it that some patients develop neuropathy uh, and others do not? It's about 50% developing neuropathy, but some patients do not develop. We don't know that. We also don't know uh, among those that develop the, uh, neuropathy, why is it that some have pain and others do not have pain? So there are some key questions that need to be asked. Uh, and one of the things which I think is important to know is something about the pathophysiology of pain. And it's a pleasure for me to introduce the first speaker here, who is Leif Oestergaard, 
from uh, Aarhus, Denmark, uh, leader of the Center for Integrative Neuroscience, and he will talk about uh, some uh, or potential pathophysiological mechanisms related to diabetic neuropathy, in particular when it's painful. Please, life, come to the podium here.